Hi everyone, in this video, we are going to set up dependency injection in our project. And for dependency injection, I am going to use HILT. The dependencies for HILT are already added in this project. So let's configure HILT. The first thing that we need to do is, we need to create our application class. So inside my main package, inside applications module, I will create Minitails app and we need to annotate this class with this annotation that is Hilt Android app and that's it. Our Hilt is added in our applications module because it is a Hilt Android app. Now what we need to do is we need to create our modules that will provide dependencies. So the first thing that I want is I want this Minitails HTTP client builder and request handler. So inside my applications module, I will create a new package and I will name it DI. Now because my network module is a Java or Kotlin only module. So inside this module, I cannot use HILT. And that is why I am creating HILT's module inside this app module because this is Android specific module. So inside DI, I will create a new class and I will name it network module. It is a class and it is also a module. And that is why I have to annotate this class as module. And for module, we need to use one more annotation that is install in. And because it is a network module and we are going to use it everywhere whenever we have to make a network request. I will install this module inside singleton component. Now inside this module, first I will provide HTTP client. So I will write a function and I will annotate it with provides annotation and it will provide HTTP client. And you can see I am not able to access this Minitails HTTP client builder here because I have to add the dependency first inside build.gradle file. So I will go to app level build.gradle file and here I will implement network. So I will write implementation projects network and sync the project and now I can access Minitails HTTP client builder. Now this function will provide HTTP client but we also need request handler. So we need to write one more provides and it will provide request handler. And because this function is already providing the HTTP client, we can directly get it to the parameter of this function. So here we can write client of type HTTP client and to create the request handler, we can pass client. Now you can see these icons. We are getting this client from this function and this function is providing client to this function. So these are helpful for debugging. So it is working fine. Now we have to provide host. I have passed an empty string here, but we have to provide actual host. And where do we store our host URL? So one good place to store it is the build.gradle file. Because right now we are using our local machine for APIs. And later we want to deploy those APIs and we want to change the URL. So how you can maintain multiple versions of the same API? and we can do it using our build.gradle file. So inside build.gradle file, we can create multiple build types of our application. Here you can see we have build types block and inside this we have one build type that is release and we also have one build type that is called debug. Now for both these build types, we can define build config field. And with the help of this build config field, we can create multiple hosts for our API. For example, for debug, I will define a build config field. The type is string 
and I will name the value as mini tails host and here I will put the host right now it is 192.168.10.34 and the same way we can define a host for release build so I will copy the same thing so this is how you can define build config fields now rebuild your project and go to network module oops we are getting this error and when we are using this build config field we have to enable this feature so inside this build features block in our app level build.gradle file we have to write build config equals to true so sync and rebuild again now to pass host what we can do is we can write build config dot mini tails host and if you go to this field you have your host here so this is how you can define your base urls inside build.cradle file so i think that is all for this video friends i hope you found this video helpful and learned something in case you have any problem question or confusion you can leave it in the comments below so thanks for watching everyone this is bilal khan now signing off